old friend. Hi, Jeff. Now the uniform, eh? Uh-huh. Maybe I should say Captain Stewart. Oh, let's forget the Captain. It's plain Jeff Stewart now. Going to settle down and enjoy the peace. There ain't no peace in Fox County, Jeff. When all you able-bodied fellas was away to war, a bunch of crooked politicians got themselves elected and have been skinning the people right and left. I'm pulling out. It's a runaway. It's Kate Wells, the postmistress. Them crazy critters will kill her yet. trying to do. I had the team under control. I didn't need any help. Well, it didn't look that way to me. So I risk my neck to help you and get called down for my trouble. Oh, I, I'm awfully sorry. I was in a hurry. You see, the sheriff is selling my uncle's ranch for taxes, and I have the money to stop the sale, but barely time to get there. And when you cut in here and... You can still make it. Shove over. Ah! I got a bit of $600. Who'll give me seven? I'm asking for a bit of seven hundred dollars for the whole shebang, lock, stock, and barrel. Six hundred, who'll give me seven? Seven hundred. Seven hundred. Seven hundred, who'll give me eight? Seven hundred, who'll give me eight? Seven hundred and fifty. Seven hundred and fifty dollars, who'll give me eight? Seven fifty, who'll give me eight? Eight hundred dollars. Eight hundred dollars, gentlemen. Mr. Carter has just bid eight hundred dollars. Only eight hundred dollars for two sections of the finest grazing land in Box County. Look at that house. Look at that land. No telling how much this land is worth. Stop, stop him, Sheriff. Listen, uh, just give me five more minutes. Kate promised to be here with the money. Nothing doing. You've had due notice. 800, who'll give me nine? $1,000, spot cash. $1,000, spot cash. Are you all done? $1,000, $1,000 once, $1,000 twice. Hold it. Here she comes. Stop it, Sheriff. That, that's Kate with the money. Sold a limb Carter for one thousand dollars. Here's the tax money, Sheriff. I'm sorry, Kate. The sale's over. But surely, if I pay the taxes, that's all up to Mr. Carter now. He's the legal owner. But you've got to give it back. This is my land. Not now, it isn't. I tell you, this is my land. It belongs to me. Just a minute. You know, buying this ranch didn't give you any right to manhandle the former owner. Is that right? Well, maybe you'd like some of the same. Don't butt in, Sheriff. I'll handle this. I want to see fair play. Get up. I'm not through with you yet. Oh, yes, you are. You're under arrest for disturbing the peace. But you can't do that, Sheriff. Put that gun away, Kate. Why, he struck the first blow. Is that right? Well, I'm striking the last one. If you've got anything to say, tell it to Judge Hyde. Stick out your hands. Lim Carter had just purchased the ranch strictly legal, Your Honor, when the defendant here assaulted him. Have you anything to say for yourself, young man? The sheriff should have his eyes examined, Your Honor. This is a court of law, not an optical clinic. Quite true, Your Honor. However, the facts are that this man Carter attacked me. I had every right to defend myself. Not under the circumstances. The sheriff was there. You could have appealed to him for protection instead of taking the law into your own hands. Your Honor, may I testify? I'm afraid not, Kate. Understand you took part in this affair, using a deadly weapon in a threatening manner. Now, the testimony of an accomplice is not admissible. 
As for you, young man, the court finds you guilty as charged. The fine will be $100. Why, I haven't that much on me, Your Honor. Sheriff will hold your horse and saddle until such a time as the fine is paid. Have you anything further to say, young man? Only that the thrashing I gave your friend Carter was worth the price. <laughs> Clear the court, Sheriff. Why didn't you throw Stuart into jail when you had the chance? Too many witnesses. Jeff Stewart's as deadly as a rattler. He knows his law. Now, the chief got word a while ago that he was on his way back and warned me. He said Stuart had to be run out of the county before he found flaws in our organization. I don't like it. The chief sits back in an easy chair and gives orders. The rest of us take risks. Besides, running Stuart out of the county may be a man-sized job. That's right. The chief didn't necessarily mean that Stewart had to leave under his own power. He might go out on a plank. Apparently, that bunch in the courthouse is pretty well organized. Can get away with anything. Their first move was to raise the property taxes so high that only a few could afford to pay them. The rest were sold out, like Uncle Louis. Nice game. That's only part of it. The only road across the mountains runs through Box County, so the official slapped a toll tax on every wagon using it. Their collection runs into thousands. Well, I still have my ranch. Maybe I can keep it in spite of them. Senor Chef! You have come home! Pancho, it's good to see you. And you, senor. Miss Wells, I want you to meet Pancho, my friend and ranch foreman. Buenos dias, senorita. Hello, Pancho. Oh, senor, it's so good you've returned. The men have all been scared away, the cattle driven off, and soon they take your rancho. Outlaws? No, no, senor, the law himself, the sheriff. He come with a big piece of paper. He say, you no pay taxes, I take. So he takes to get my horses? Oh, no, senor. I take the horses and hide them in Lost Canyon, all except El Rey, your favorite. I have him here. Come, I show you. a fine job, Pancho. Right. Now we've got to figure out some legal way to get these crooks kicked out of office. But you cannot do that, senor. You must fight fire with fire. El Caballero Zorro must ride again. What does he mean? Well, Zorro was an ancestor of mine on my mother's side. When the politicians got to making things too tough for his friends, Zorro took the law into his own hands, became a sort of Robin Hood, settled things his own way. And you too can settle things, senor. You have a horse as swift as his. And in the old chest here are the clothes of Zorro. Well, it's a tempting idea, Poncho, but we'll stick to the legal methods as long as we can. But legal methods won't work. That's what he's trying to tell you. Judge Hyde and the others have complete control of the county. And we'll go over their heads. They can appeal to the state for an investigation. That won't be of any use. Unless the county authorities ask for help, the governor has no right to interfere in their affairs. But Zorro can interfere, senor. See, si. here are his clothes, even to the hat and the mask. No, Pancho, we'll still stick to the law. I believe I know a way to break this crooked ring wide open. Daniels. How are you, Jeff? Glad to see you. I heard you were back. Goodness, you made a quick trip. Any luck? Oh, plenty. Oh, uh, meet Mr. Stockton, Jeff. Well, how are you, Stockton? Howdy. You must have come here after I left. Yeah, he rode in on an old flea-bitten horse with nothing in his pockets but his hands. 
And now he owns a half a dozen ranches or more, the lucky umbry. Lucky nothing. I worked hard for what I've got. Yep, he has. You've got to admit, he made his by hard work and honest dealing. Well, I'm glad to meet an honest citizen. Ones I've run up against so far wouldn't assay an ounce of honesty to the time. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff means to help straighten things out here in Box County. He's been to the capital to see what can be done about those high taxes and road toll. And something can be done. I have a franchise here from the governor to build a new wagon road through the mountains. Look. My road will cut off just before it hits the Box County line and swing out across the mountains through Davis County. And the sheriff collects no more tolls from our covered wagons. Oh, Jeff, that's splendid. Smart business. When do you start? First thing in the morning. There's enough equipment to get underway, loaded, and ready to leave Railhead as soon as I get there. Well, I'll go with you. I know all of that mountain country pretty well, and I can help you pick the easiest route. Well, fine. Pancho's meeting us with the chuck wagon at Yellow Horse Crossing, and we can pick you up there. Well, I'll be getting along. I've got a lot of things to do. Well, not quite. Pancho isn't here yet. Well, did we wait? No. You'd better take my team and go ahead. I'll ride the ranch and see what's holding him up. All right. Keep going. We'll catch up with you. Come, they beat me and take the horses. The sheriff? No, no, senor, the bandits. Now Zorro must ride again. Nothing doing. I'm a lawyer, not an outlaw. We'll get another chuck wagon and... Senor, you not understand. I hear the men talk. They go now to attack your wagons. They kill all your men. And Kate's on one of the wagons. See. Si. Saddle El Rey. Quick! See, si, senor! This'll do it. When they come through the cut, we'll let them have it. Are you ready, Pancho? Si, Senor Zorro.
Say, boy, it takes the coal oil in the other wagon. Bring him over here. We'll blast him out of there. while I keep him pinned down.
I filed a complaint against Boyd, but Judge Hyde refused to issue a warrant, saying that since the attack was not in Box County, he had no jurisdiction. Oh, that's happened so many times before. Boyd and his gang rob and steal in other counties and then run back here where our officials refuse to take action. There's no way to stop them. There is if Zorro rides more often. Pancho's right. Well, Zorro will ride when needed. Our job right now is to build our new road through the mountains. That will put the Box County Toll Road out of business, and those crooks in the courthouse will lose their major source of income. That's right, but we'll need money. Well, surely someone will furnish it. All the decent citizens can't be broke. <laughs> I don't know of anyone who isn't except Stockton. You'll never get any help from him. Well, how about Caleb Baldwin, who owns a Bluebird Mine? He was always outspoken for law and order. Too outspoken. They taxed his ore shipment so heavily that he had to stop shipping. He still might be able to help us. I'm going to see him. I'll meet you in Benton later. And that's why we need your help, Mr. Baldwin. I'd be glad to finance the road or do anything else I can to wreck those crooks, but I'm broke. A million dollar gold mine and broke. If we could figure out a way to get a shipment of this gold ore out, could we use the money for our road? Certainly, but you'll never get a wagon past them. I don't mean by wagon. How about using pack horses and cutting through the mountains? That might work. I think it will. And they won't be watching the trails either. But, but what? My horses were confiscated for taxes. Don't let that worry you. I have some horses hidden in Lost Valley. I can get pack saddles on them and be here by dark. Fine, fine. I'll start grinding up some hydrate ore right away. See you later. Since you offered to help, Daniels, I wonder if you could let us have enough pack saddles to handle the gold ore. I have the horses. Why, sure, Jeff. My storeroom out in the back is half full of pack saddles. You're entirely welcome to them. Well, that's fine. Thanks. Wish I was going along to help you herd them in. I'm going as far as the mine to show Jeff the shortcut through Dead Man's Pass. You can count on her, Jeff. She's as good a hand as most men around here. Oh, we better get those saddles if you expect to make it today. Out in the storeroom with Jeff Stewart. Hmm. I just saw the chief. He said that Kate Wells and Jeff Stewart are headed for the Bluebird Mine with a bunch of pack horses. They aim to sneak out with a shipment of gold ore tonight. You ought to stop them. Gun them down if necessary. Oh, that's dangerous. If we kill that girl, it'll cause an awful commotion in this county. I know that, but the chief is tired of her meddling. It's our necks if we don't do as he says. Sometimes I wish I'd never got mixed up in this business. You always take your cut, don't you? What's the chief want? Get rid of Stuart and the girl and grab their pack horses. Then go to the mine and... I'll decoy them away. As soon as they pass, head to the mine. Leave the Zorro horse here. 
Hombre, eh? Yeah. They're probably on the way to the mine by now. We'll cut cross country and try and head them off. You backtrack, get in behind them. shouldn't let you drop? Don't let go, don't let go. Where's the rest of your gang? I don't know. All right, I'm dropping you. No, wait, wait, wait. They cut across to the mine. After they followed the decoy, I brought the horses here. Smart work. We'll start loading them. Looks like we're just in time. Time up.
I'll get the gold packed up and out of here before Boyd can get organized to stop us. Untie Bolt. Oh, how are you, Jeff? Howdy, folks. Hi, you, Jeff. Hello, Kate. Well, the pack train idea paid off. The gold ore brought $18,000, and here it is. Wonderful. And Baldwin's agreed to put up the entire amount to finance our new road around Box County. Well, that's mighty generous of him. Sounds like a poor investment to me. Well, it isn't everybody that's looking for a profit, Doctor. Some folks, they just like to have a decent place to live in. And we're not going to have it in Box County as long as those legal cutthroats are allowed to charge toll for everything shipped in and out of here. When are you getting started, Jeff? Why, as soon as I get my new equipment. Well, you make out a list of the things you need, and I'll help you pack up the stuff. Save you time and money. Well, thanks, Daniels. I'll work out the list for you as soon as I bank this cash. I'll be back in a little while, Kate. Well, if you don't mind, Sheriff, I'm in a hurry. I do mind, Stuart. I want to talk to you. It seems as though some gold from Baldwin's mine was run out of the county illegally. Well, it wasn't my gold. Maybe not. But you collected the cash for it from the refining company. This court order impounds the money until all taxes and fines for evading payment have been figured out and paid. So I hand it over. It's all proper and legal. Well, not quite. You see, I'll uh, have to sign this over to you, stating the amounts inside. I'll write it on the envelope. Well, that ain't necessary. We'll proceed according to law. All right, but hurry. May I have a pen, Kate? Make sure it goes out in the morning stage. Hey, hey, give me that. That's the property of Box County Court. A slight error, Sheriff. It's now in the custody of the federal government. And uh, we'll remain there until delivered to its proper address. Well, you double-crossing crook, you won't get away with this. I'm taking you for violating a court order. OK, Sheriff, but I don't think you've got much of a case. According to the charges made by Sheriff Moody, complainant for Box County, the defendant, Jeffrey Stewart, is held in contempt for violation of County Court Order Number 148. If it pleases Your Honor, the defendant pleads not guilty, demands a writ of habeas corpus until proper charges can be filed. This court can determine its own charges. Sixty days. I demand a stay until a proper hearing. Thirty days more. This is preposterous. It'll be thirty days more every time you open your mouth. Take the prisoner. Put out your hands. Judge, get me loose. The key's in my vest pocket. Now you get your deputies and bring that prisoner back. There'll be a thousand dollars reward to the man who catches him.
chance to catch him now. So he got away. There was nothing we could do about it. Well, maybe it's better that way. As an outlaw, Jeff Stewart won't dare show his face in this county. Well, we're rid of him. Now, in the meantime, the chief wants you to get that envelope with the money in it before it leaves on the morning coach. Count me out. I'm not taking any chances with the mail. That's a government. You'll take any risk that's necessary. Besides, there won't be any if you follow orders. Now, here's the chief's plan. Tonight, you and Haskell will go to the store. locked in the vault. We can't take any chances. The mails have been robbed too many times around here. And it's perfectly legal for a postmaster to turn mail to a sender at his request. Well, I, I guess you're right. Good. I'll get my horse and meet you at the back door. All right.
Well, watch out, Boyd. Jeff Stewart got the money somehow, and he's working fast. He's already got a gang of men rounded up and supplies on hand. They built a camp in Lone Skull Ravine and figured to start work on the new road in a couple of days. Well, we've got to stop him. That new road would let all the wagon trains go around Box County instead of through our toll road. Now, those toll collections are the best pickings in the whole setup. The chief wants Jeff Stewart and his new road smashed. Well, it ain't gonna be easy. We started never put in with the chief. Being sheriff in this county ain't much of a job. Now, I can't brag much about being called judge either. But it's too late now to turn back. You keep an eye on Kate Wells. Jeff might try to see her. And if he does, you can take care of her. <laughs> Any mail for me, Miss Kate? Oh, yes, Tom. I believe there is. Jeff Stewart's camp this morning. He asked me to give you this. John Dixon, the civil engineer, to camp tomorrow. Please bring the topographical maps when you come with the mail, as Dixon will need them. I'll have to ask the chief what he wants to do about this. You'd better get your men together. Fox County Bandits. Thanks, partner. It's a holdup. Hold him off while I reload. Papers will get you by the guards and into the camp. And you plant the explosive where it'll do the most good and clear out. Simple enough? Sounds all right. I hope it works. Don't worry, it will. I'm taking you to Benton. Don't try any tricks and you'll get there in one piece. There's a thousand dollars reward up for you and I intend to collect it while Quirt's taking care of your camp. See you in Benton. Good morning, Charlie. Good morning. Are Mr. Stewart and the engineer here yet? Well, no, they're not. But I've been expecting them all morning. They should be here any minute now. Well, I'll wait for them. Oh, here's some maps Mr. Stewart wanted. Oh, good. And some mail. Boys will sure be glad to get this.
I'm John Dixon. How do you do? Jeff had to stop and see the governor about details in making out the franchise. He asked me to come on ahead and get started. He should be here sometime tomorrow. Well, I'm Charlie Grimes. And this is Miss Kate Wells, postmistress over at Benton. Hello, Mr. Dixon. How do you do? I brought up some maps of the area. Jeff thought they might be helpful. Fine, fine. Jeff! Quick, Poncho, there's no time to lose. See, si, senor. These will be a big help, Miss Wells. I'll start my preliminary survey from that peak up there. Can I help? No, no thanks. I can manage. Well, Charlie, I might as well start back for Benton. You tell Mr. Stewart I was here. I sure will. Are you ready, Pancho? Si, Senor Zorro. from the top of the cliff. What's wrong? Then he intends to blow the cliff down in the camp. What do you mean? He's not my engineer. He's one of Boyd's men. I'll try to head him off. Warren, Charlie, and the others. Camp, quick. But I... Well, don't stand there now. You hurry up. All right. Break out, then. Come on. Let's get going. Hurry up.
Well, that finishes our road building. Well, not permanently, but it'll cost plenty to repair that damage. We'll have to call on Caleb Baldwin to help us again. You folks know I'd be glad to stake it to my last dollar. But look what the sheriff hands me this morning. Hmm, restraining order, eh? Fine $1,000 for transporting gold illegally through the county. And restrain from operating your mine until the fine is paid. Why, that's an outrage. Ain't no way in the world I can raise $1,000 without mining. Is that paper legal? Well, it's as legal as the court that issued it. But maybe we can beat it. How, Jeff? You're a fugitive with a price on your head. Why, you wouldn't even dare show your face in town. I know that, so I'm going to the Capitol and have another talk with the governor. Meet me outside of town on Wildcat Trail early tomorrow morning. So fast, Sheriff. This is my prisoner. Inside Stuart and no monkey business. Well, this is a pleasant surprise, Miss Wells. Glad to see you come over to the side of law and order. Why, Your Honor, I've always been on the side of law and order. Before I turn over my prisoner, I think there's a little matter of, uh, $1,000 reward? Which we'll be glad to pay. Here you are. Thanks. Oh, and uh, now about Mr. Baldwin's unpaid transport fine. By a strange coincidence, it's just $1,000. Please give me a receipt. I left the restraining order on the Bluebird Mine. Well, you can't do that. Why, you mean the county doesn't want the fine paid? Thank you, Judge. I'm glad to see that you've come over to the side of law and order. Take the prisoner. Just a minute. Your Honor, I visited the Capitol yesterday, and I have a pardon from the Governor for any and all offenses with which you may have me charged. Nobody can interfere with this court's business. And as a lawyer, my advice to you is not to disregard that document. <laughs> Clear the court! Clear the court! And I mean to build that road if it's humanly possible. This is a free country, and folks should have a right to haul their goods free over its highways. Look here, young fella. Ain't you caused enough trouble in this county without setting folks again the duly elected officers of the law? I'm merely offering them legal means of avoiding an unjust tax. You sure stirred up a harness nest, son. I heard what happened over in the court. I'd have given $10 just to see an old Judge Hyde's face when you shoved your pardon under his nose. The chief says that Jeff Stewart is making us the laughing stock of the county. Between Stewart and that masked bandit they call Zorro, our business is liable to bust wide open. Sure, and I suppose the chief knows just what to do about it. He does. And don't forget, he could send us all to the pen if we don't take his orders. Now, Baldwin's mine is to be destroyed with Stuart and the Wells girl in it. You mean cold-blooded murder? If you want to call it that. But since Kate Wells is pretty popular in this community, you'd better make sure that it looks like an accident to the mine machinery. Now, you ought to take the girl first tonight. Yeah. I'm afraid I have to, Pancho. I'm getting a lot of non-paying clients lately. Oh, they be good clients when you fix things so they can pay. Get them up, Stuart. Your friend Kate Wells is in a lot of trouble. I thought you might like to join her. Toss your gun. Great.
Soon have this armory behind bars. That's what you think. I got friends in court. I know that, Boyd. So I'm taking you across the line into Davis County. They've got enough on you to hang you over there. I'll get the buckboard ready and we'll be on our way. Senor Jeff. Are you sure that Ombre's tied good? The way I tied him, he should get himself loose in about two minutes. But why, senor? I've got to let him go and then trail him. It's the only way to learn where they're holding Kate. Saddle El Rey, quick. Si, sí, senor. cracks. Freeze! Drop that gun, Boyd. Get over here. Keep him under cover and then join you.
getting busy. I'll turn on the water. Yes, but others may not be so lucky tonight. As soon as you're safely home, I'm going to call on Judge Hyde. We didn't get Jeff Stewart, but Baldwin is done for. But what's more important, Zora and the girl were finished when we flooded the tunnel. Then when we get Stewart, our troubles are over. Your troubles are just beginning. Zora! I shouldn't kill you as you tried to kill me. Why? Why? It's against the law. I'll let you live on one condition. That you clean up Box County and send Boyd and his men to the penitentiary. Oh, no, no. I can't because... Shut up. So, just as I suspected, you're a figurehead, a dummy, and someone with real brains is behind the whole crooked business. No, no, I am... Don't lie. Who is it? gone too far. Well, we can let that bandit Zoro bust in here and read the riot act to us. We've got to wipe him out. Wipe him out? We don't even know who he is. Yeah, and he ain't putting out any visiting cards either. With him and Jeff Stewart both... Jeff Stewart. That's it. I thought I heard that voice before. What voice? Zoro's voice. You mean Zoro is Jeff Stewart? That voice did sound sort of familiar. 
Come to think about it, Zorro never showed up until after Jeff Stewart got back from the war. We've got to have more proof than that. No, we don't. <laughs> All we have to do is make Jeff Stewart prove he's not Zorro. Now, here's a warrant for Jeff Stewart, alias Zorro, for the murder of Kaylee Baldwin and the destruction of his mind. Boy, you will be our witness. But Kate Wells was there. She'll swear it was me that did the job and not Zorro. We'll never get a jury to convict him. I don't think Jeff Stewart will live long enough to stay in trial. Serve that warrant. But, Sheriff, the whole thing is ridiculous. I saw Boyd shoot Mr. Baldwin. Zorro was trying to save us, and Jeff wasn't even there. I'm sorry, Kate. But if what you say is true, it'll all be brought out at the trial, and Jeff has nothing to worry about. Especially if Zorro shows up to testify. Jeff, what do we do? Now, everything's going to be all right, Kate. Just don't worry. I know. I'll see the governor, and he'll give you a pardon. Well, it's a good try, but you see, the governor can't issue a pardon until after a conviction. I'm not convicted yet. Now, you'd better run along. All right, but I'll be back tonight with the best supper you ever ate. That's a promise. Remember now, tell him that Jeff Stewart is Zorro and that Zorro killed Baldwin in cold blood. Understand? Sure. Yeah, then get busy. Now, you know what we've got to do, men. If the law don't protect you, you've got to protect yourself. Right? Our jail ain't a hideout for robbers and murderers. Let's go get him out of there. Stewart and Zorro are the same man. That makes Jeff Stewart a murderer. Don't you worry, Kate. A fair trial will acquit Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> If he lives that long. What do you mean? Lots of talk about uh, taking the law in their own hands. Oh, no. Yep. Baldwin was a mighty popular man. Mighty popular. Well, Jeff didn't kill him. Why, of course not. Maybe not. But they say that Zorro did, and that Jeff is Zorro. Well, the sheriff must do something. <laughs> well, if he does, it'll be the first time he ever did anything. Baldwin, Zorro and Jeff Stewart are one and the same man. Come on. Pancho, Jeff's in jail and is accused of being Zorro. And they're stirring up a mob to take him out of jail. We've got to do something to prove he isn't Zorro. But what, senorita? I'll put on the Zorro clothes and ride into town. No, no, senorita. That is not work for a woman. I will do it. Well, then hurry. Yes, senorita. <sighs> Thanks. make trouble for you, Jeff. You'll complete the fires by defying them, of course. Of course. What do you mean, farce? You know what I mean.
coming after you. Make it look good, Sheriff. Out of trouble if you turn him over to us, Sheriff. Nothing doing. Then we'll take him. Come on, men. Get something to crash the door. Wait, men. Easy, Sheriff. Break it in, boys. want a hand in this. Bring him out. Just as you say, partner. I'm not Zorro. We're convinced, all right, Jeff. I reckon we got riled up over some bad rumors. Yeah, that's what comes from taking the law into your own hands. Now, clear out of here. If you were really interested, you might go after the ringleader of that mob. I know what I've got to do. Then start with these. I saw trouble brewing. I sent Pancho in Zorro. And not a minute too soon, either. 
I hope he got back all right. He did. I passed him on the way. Well, that's two games up on you, Stockton. Hello, Kate. How are you, Jeff? Mighty glad to see you. Howdy, man. Yes, I'm lucky to be here. Mobs, masked riders, shootings and killings. Won't ever be any peace around here. There would be if we could only get some honest citizens into those county offices. Elections don't come up for a couple of years yet. Suppose we could prove the last elections weren't legal. That'd do it. But there ain't no reason to believe that. Maybe not. But most of the eligible voters were in the Army at the time Judge Hyde and the others were elected. And they still pulled a lot of votes. Exactly. And a check on the registration records might show that some of those voters didn't even live in this county. Do you think for a minute that the judge will let you see those records? If he refuses, it'll prove the records are crooked, and I'll act accordingly. Why do you want the registration records of 1862? I'm searching for some witnesses in litigation who were supposed to be in this county that year. Oh, I see. Well, you can't take the records out of the building. Well, I'll look at them here. Well, I suppose I can find them. Hey. I'm afraid you'll have to come back tomorrow. Well, why not now? Well, it's too late. The vault's closed and the registrar of the records has gone home for the day. I hope you won't mind coming back in the morning. I'll be here. Why did you tell him to come back in the morning? He isn't looking for the names of any witnesses. There's enough in that registration to send us to jail for the rest of our lives. And that's what he's after. I didn't think of that. Well, the boss did. He wants those books destroyed tonight. That'll arouse suspicion. Not if all county records were accidentally destroyed by fire. The chief wants Boyd to... This is the record they tried to destroy. I hope this proves your suspicion about the election. Does it? Look here. Lester Armstrong. Well, he was dead at least 10 years before this registration date. Sam Briggs, moved out of the county in 55. Jim Burnside, called to the colors in 61. Why, there's enough evidence of fraud here to convince the governor he must take immediate action.
saw the sheriff and his men from the lookout. They're heading this way pronto. I'm pretty sure they're after this book. But why don't I take it to the governor? I can catch the capital city stage. It meets crossing. That's a good idea. I'll stall the sheriff long enough to let you get on the stage. And I'll meet you in capital city later. Pancho, you drive her in the buckboard. Mm -hmm. search warrant for some county records that disappeared last night. Well, why look here, Sheriff? They happen to be the records that you were interested in yesterday. It's possible that you borrowed them. Perhaps you'd better find the evidence, Sheriff, before you make any accusations. I'll try my best to oblige you. All right, men, let's get started. Sorry to disappoint you, Sheriff. And I sure do hope you recover those records. Don't worry. Whoever stole them won't get out of the county. We've got every road and trail blocked. Everything's fine. Can you read really the She caught the stage. But from what the Sheriff said about having all roads blocked, that stage is sure to be stopped and searched. Looks like another job for Zoro. Si, senor. Saddle a ray while I change clothes. Are you ready, Pancho? Si, senor Zoro.
no sign of the election records. The stagecoach and everything in it were burned to ashes. Well, we've got to assume that those records weren't in the stagecoach and that Zorro still has them. If those records ever reach the governor, you, Moody, I, as well as every office holder in the county, will go to jail for a long, long time. Looks like you're in a bad fix. Yeah, you too. Don't forget you and your men have made a lot of money working with us. And you're wanted everywhere, except in Fox County. Now, the chief wants Zorro taken care of. Well, so do I, but Kate Wells ought to know who he is, and you've got to make a tell. Now then, we'll get Ma Andrews and send her to the post office. Mm -hmm. That's all, Mr. Daniel. Oh, and don't forget to stamp the registered letters. You can depend upon me, Kate. Seems like all I do lately is act as postmaster for Kate while she goes gallivanting around. Oh, I don't mind usually, but that fool woman, my Andrews, waited until after the stage was gone and then wanted to mail a letter. Well, it's to her son in Capital City, and he has to have it tomorrow. She may lose her home. Oh, that would be too bad. Well, Ma up and cried all over the place until Kate promised that she would ride out and put the letter on the stage. So I'm postmaster again. Well, it won't be for long. I'll ride out with you. Fine. Give me a cigar. Strong one. wants to see you about those election records. Have they been found? Nope. And I'm not interested. Wait. The judge wants to see you, and he's going to see you. Where's your warrant? Go on, Jeff. You might get into trouble. I'll see you when I come back. All right, come on. See, we've got to catch Sorrow before we can get those stolen records back. Well, I'm not too sure those records were stolen. Well, they were stolen, all right. That could be. However, it might have been a deliberate act to keep me from examining them. You be careful, young man, or I'll jail you for contempt of court. Go ahead. The governor would be mighty curious about another trumped-up charge against me. Oh, you're excited. I don't want to be hard on you. Sure. Soft-hearted Judge Hyde, the people's friend. Get him out of here. Good morning, senorita. Good morning, Pancho. My horse has a loose shoe. Can you fix it? Oh, I look, will you? Oh, but of course. The shoe she is broken. Oh, and I've got to meet Doc's post Oh. Listen, may I use your horse? Oh, but of course. And I'll put a new shoe on him. And by the time you go back, he'll be all ready for you. Oh, thanks, Pancho. Come. Tell us who Zorro is. Is that all? And suppose I don't? You're a smart girl. Figure it out. Who's Zorro? Don't make it tough on yourself. All right. He's, uh, Judge Hyde. Judge Hyde, huh? I happen to know that he can't even sit on a horse. So that's the way you want it, huh? Tie her hands. We'll take her over to the old BBF ranch and work her over.
short a horse. You can start walking. Get going. She's all ready for the senorita when she comes back. Let me know when she gets here. My horse. The senorita. She must have been thrown. Oh, but no, senor. The horse is very gentle. Besides, senorita Kate is a good rider. That's right. Her pen. BBF. Well, that must be the old Burton Ranch. Saddle and rig, quick. to keep from getting hurt. Who is Zorro? You'll talk sooner or later if you live. Might as well make it easy on yourself. All right, if that's the way you want it. Hurry up, Ted! Get that bucket off there. Tell us who Zorro is, or we'll leave you down there. Be smart. You don't need to be so stubborn. All right, down you go. Stand back. Zorro, get over there. Throw those guns away.
Stand back. Thorpe, get over there. Throw those guns away. Governor wants me to send him a detailed report on all the robberies and shootings that have been going on around here since I got back. Now we're getting someplace. That's a good idea. What's good about it? As long as the men who are running things in Box County stay in office, the bandits will have it all their own way. Not if the Rangers come. Rangers? What do you mean? Well, if my report justifies it, the Governor will appoint state Rangers to patrol this county and try all criminals they catch in the state courts. Oh, splendid, Jeff. Well, I'll come out to your place tonight and help you with your report. Good. We may have an unpleasant surprise for Judge Hyde and his men. See you later. What's up, Judge? Enough to hang us if we make one wrong move. Jeff Stewart is writing a report to the governor tonight, which may form the basis for organizing a state ranger service. We've got to get him before he can write a line. Oh, no. Let him finish his report first, then grab it. It'll probably tell us who Zorro is. And that's what we want to know. What do I do? First, you go out and find out how and when this report is to be sent. And thus putting a stop to the unfair toll tax imposed by Box County officials. Will you read back that entire last part, please? Your Excellency will remember that with your permission and approval, I plan to build a new wagon road through the mountains, bypassing Box County, and thus putting a stop to the unfair toll tax imposed by Box County officials. Although every effort was made to keep this project secret, our supply wagons were attacked on the way to camp.
Hackett. Bring him over here. We'll blast him out of there. Wagons and supplies were lost. Tired? Not a bit. This disaster left us in a bad way financially. Caleb Baldwin agreed to back our project with the resources of his gold mine. Miss Wells arranged to bring out Baldwin's ore by pack train. But Boyd trailed her to the mine. unable to pick up his trail. However, we were now free to load our pack animals and run the ore through. The sale of the gold enabled us to buy new supplies and get the road work underway. Well, that tells most of the story. You 
going to send this report in tonight? Yes, but it'll be a dangerous job. I think Zorro had better be the messenger. Just change this last line. I'll sign it when I get back. I'm going to the kitchen to speak to Pancho. He's out cold. Now Zorro can ride. Zorro. I'll take the report to the governor. See you at the store when I get back. Good luck. The governor was impressed with my report. He plans to ask the legislature to authorize the formation of state rangers with power to go into any county and enforce the law. Oh, that's fine, Jeff. Good boy. Now we'll have those rascals on the run. Well, it's not so simple as that, Daniels. You see, the governor can't present the bill without supporting evidence. He wants me to get affidavits from every citizen who has suffered at the hands of Box County officials. 
I'll be the first to sign one. That gang has cost me plenty. How about you, Stockton? Not me. I've had enough trouble. And I tell you that any man who tries to buck that crowd is taking his life in his own hands. Are you still willing to sign, Daniels? Yes, sir. -y. Good. Kate, will you make up a list of the citizens I should see while I draw up some affidavit forms? Oh, I sure will. And I'll help her. Well, thanks. What's up, Judge? Tallow's in the fire now, for sure. Jeff Stewart, I bet. Yes, he's had an affidavit signed by the ranchers. We've had to discipline a little when they wouldn't pay their taxes. And when he gets them, the governor's going to have the legislature pass the bill creating state rangers. That'll rip our organization all to pieces. We might go to the pen. Yes, sir, Hank. Where are you going? I'm going to dry ghost Jeff Stewart. Sit down. Sit down. Jeff Stewart is too strong with the governor to risk that. It might force the ranger bill through. The chief has a plan to discredit him. Now you get Boyd and tell him that Jeff is headed for Milton's ranch. That night, more than a hundred head of cattle was run off by Boyd and his gang. I recognized them, and my wife did too. Then the judge threw the case out of court. I guess that's all. Well, that's plenty, Mr. Melton. You stand here, please. Well, thanks. I'm glad for the chance, Mr. Stewart. You've really been a help. Nice looking horse. Hello, boy. Come here, son. Acts like a killer. He is. Used to be my best horse. But he got into a patch of loco weed and he's been crazy ever since. That's too bad. Well, I've got to be getting along. Good luck. See you later. Oh, boy. Quiet down there. Take it easy, boy. Harkness, Wade, and Melton have signed. When we get through with them, the rest won't dare sign. Take them off the trail and watch them till we get back. Right. Hey, 
Take it easy. You ain't going no place. So it seems. Wouldn't be so bad if I wasn't hungry. I could go for some grub myself. Come to think of it, there's uh, a slab of bacon in my saddlebag. You could boil some while we wait. An idea. sign his affidavit at the point of a gun. I'll do no such thing. You'll change your mind. I think not. Lift him.
looks like we're stumped. The threats and beatings have scared the other ranchers out of signing the affidavits. It's a shame. The governor needed them to put through your plan to organize the state rangers. Well, we'll just have to start all over again. And this time, I'm going after the man behind the scenes. You see, Boyd, the sheriff, and the judge are just go-betweens, taking their orders from one man. If we find him, we can break up the whole organization. That's true. But the problem is, how and where do we begin? My hunch is in Daniel's store. If you think back, we've talked over all our plans in there, and somehow Boyd and the sheriff always moved one jump ahead of us. So, someone around that store must be in with the crooks. My guess is Thomas, the clerk. Well, he couldn't be head of the gang. Perhaps not, but he could be very close to him. Well, you're probably right. But you haven't any real evidence to prove it. Well, not yet, but I think I can get some. Remember Cass Green, the registrar you told me about? The one who disappeared after the election in 62? He's never been heard of since. Now, suppose Thomas should hear that Green has suddenly turned up with some records that would prove the election a fraud. Then we would be able to go on in. Hey, Jeff. Hello, Stuart. Howdy, man. Morning, Kate. Hello, Jeff. I've really got something. What is it? I found Cass Green, the registrar. Where? Over in Davis County. And he can give some very interesting testimony about the election in 62. Wonderful. Well, then you can take him to the governor and get immediate action. Well, first I must get rid of immunity for him from the governor. He won't say a word until it's done. I'm going to the capital to arrange for it tonight. But suppose the sheriff will... Don't worry. Green won't come into town. He's spending the night on the living room couch at the ranch. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Observation, Boyd. Get their guns, Pancho.
proves Thomas is the man we're after. He's the only one who heard the story we made up about Green. That Thomas may expect a visit from Zorro, huh? He usually works on the books at night. He's probably still in the store. Are you ready, Pancho? Si, Senor Zorro. Green deal was a frame-up. What do you mean? We acted on Thomas's information. Green was never there. Jeff Stewart used the idea's bait to get us out to the ranch. That's mighty strange. He must have had something up his sleeve. Yeah, he did. Wait a minute. The whole idea was a trap to flush out Thomas. Jeff used that Green story to see if anything would be done about it. And we went for it hook, line, and sinker. I'll get in touch with the chief. You tell Thomas to get out of town right away. Right. your coat on, Thomas. You're coming with me. What for? I've got no business with you. No? Possibly you can explain how Boyd came to look for Cass Green. I don't know what you're talking about. We'll see about that. Hurry up. inside. I got him trapped. Keep him pinned in. I'll get the deputies to surround the building. You take that side, you take the front, and I'll be around back. We can get him out of here. The wagon. Now, give me a match.
Thanks, Kate. Right. Good luck. been here? Why, just a minute or two. Did Thomas tell you anything? No. He, he was dead when I came in. Are you sure he didn't say anything? But Thomas worked for me over 12 years. Well, who did it? Zorro. And I'm arresting you for helping him escape. Oh, not so fast, Sheriff. Kate can't be implicated. Zorro killed Thomas. She helped him escape. I saw it myself. Sheriff, I'll go her bail. Ain't no bail set yet. That's up to the judge. Well, don't worry, Kate. I'll help you. Don't be a fool. She's guilty, she's guilty. Oh, I can't believe it. As the sheriff said, that's up to the judge. duty to order you held for trial as an accessory after the fact for the murder of George Thomas. Take her away. Well, will you set bail? Mr. Daniel said he would go my bond. Oh, he did? Well, just a minute, Judge. This is a serious charge. You're to be held without bail. But you said that. Never mind what I said. Remove the prison, see if she talks to no one. There's the court. There's the court. What's up? I don't know. This note from the chief, he said that boy... Well, the chief certainly put me in an awkward position. After all, I am the county judge. If the chief hadn't put you in an awkward position, you'd most likely be in jail by morning. Thomas's records are missing. No. Yes. The record of how much money we've been making from taxes, tolls, raids, everything. And also who got it. If those records ever fall into the hands of the state authorities, that'll be the end of us. Kate was alone with Thomas after he was shot, and the chief figures she found the records and hid them. We got into the store during the night and searched the place, but we couldn't find them. She knows where they are, and she'll tell Jeff the first chance she gets. She won't get a chance. Chief wants her kept locked up until tonight, then I'm to make her tell where they are. As soon as the chief gets the records, Kate is going to try to break out of jail. And you, unfortunately, will have to shoot her. Is that clear? Yeah, and I don't like it. I don't like it either, but that's the only way out. Now, you'll be mighty sure that Jeff doesn't get a chance to talk to her. He won't. Did you see Senorita Kate? No, the sheriff wouldn't let me near her. You see, she's held without bail, and even her attorney can't talk with her. Why? I do not know, senor, unless... Unless she's found out something that will show up these Box County crooks. I believe it was evidence she found and hid in hidden Daniel's store. You see, Boyd and his men tore the place apart the other night looking for something. Maybe they found it. No. Otherwise, Kate would be allowed bail. Or at least I could see her. It's too bad you can't see her. Maybe I can, Pancho. Maybe I can manage to get a few words with her. Eastern Sepika. They are hot tamales. So the single some type of tyson. Tamales, senor? All right. Give me one. Why not? Gracias, y buena suerte. Good luck, señor. Ah, prisoner. Tamales, señor. 
Senorita. He's very hot, Tamale. Yeah, yes, I'll take one. Gracias, señorita. Adiós y vaya con Dios. Hey, you. Come here. That tamale. Very bad. That must have been an old horse. Oh, señor, these meat. She's no good. Toss it over here and keep your hands up. Take this to the chief. Then go to the jail and take care of the girl. She hid it, so she must know what's in it. Get his gun. Now, Mr. Zorro, we'll see who you are. Heard me tell Corny to get the girl. He's probably headed for the jail now. Laurel's raiding the jail.
reckon that's the last we'll see of our friend Zorro.
him around a little bit and cool him off. Good idea, thanks. Then we are. Get your hands up. I had a hunch that trailing Jeff Stewart would lead me to Zorro. Looks like I guessed right. Get his gun. Sure. Things be much happier now without those two. But not for long. There'll just be some others taking their places. Unless we can find the man who's really running this outfit. I have an idea. You remember the trial yesterday? Well, when they were about to set bail, a messenger brought the judge a note which made him change his mind. Or just from higher up, no doubt. Of course. And I saw the judge leave the note in the bail bond ledger. Why, it may still be there. And if it is, the handwriting may give us a lead to our mystery man. Get the buckboard ready. We're going to town pronto. Si. Stockton and Daniels keeps their checker game. Well, then this must have come from either Stockton or Daniels. That's right. Listen, I've got an idea. When the judge gets here in the morning... Morning, Judge. Why, what's the meaning of this? You'll find out. Keep the law company for a few minutes, Kate. It'll be a pleasure. Shooting at the saloon? Why, no. What happened? Judge Hyde was shot. Is he dead? He's hurt pretty bad, though. A man ain't safe in this town anymore. One man especially. 
The judge was just about to tell who's behind the crooked political setup in this county when he became unconscious. So, the judge will die and things will go on just like they always have. The doctor says he'll come around soon. Then we'll get his confession. Might interest you particularly, Stockton. Meaning what, Stuart? Meaning that all this crooked business started right after you moved into Box County. While you've been growing rich, everybody else in the county's been going broke. I've got nothing to hide. You've hidden behind that kind of talk long enough. Now you'll listen to the other side for a change. Are you coming peaceful? All right. Coming, Daniels? Well, I wouldn't miss it for anything in the world. I'd be right along as soon as I lock up. Notice to be leaving town, Daniels. Well, you don't understand. You see, I, I it's a little too late for alibis now. Give me that bag. Mighty fine job, Jeff. Some mighty smart thinking, too. You had me plenty riled up until you took me outside and gave me the lowdown on this skunk. And the judge confessed everything when Mr. Stockton came in and told him that you'd captured Daniel. He's safe in jail now. And what happens to my checker playing partner now? Oh, we'll find him a nice cell along with his other friends. They can cool his heels until the government can call a special grand jury investigation. Good going. That still leaves one man unaccounted for. You know, that Zorro fellow. What about him? Oh, I can tell you, he's a... He's a friend of the people. He'll ride again if they need him. <laughs> 